This week I was going to show you how the Honor Watch ES handles the fitness courses and go through some demonstrations of how it actually works. However, slight problem, a couple of days ago I threw myself down the stairs. And I know what you're thinking, that's highly fortuitous of you, James. It really hurt. I am actually in quite a bit of pain on my arm and my back. So those plans have been scrapped for the moment. We'll see how I feel next week. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Whilst I'm recovering and trying not to hurt myself some more, I decided to try a test with the ES to see how the water resistance works. With the GS Pro, I put it through some particularly horrifying and nasty experiences to see how tough it was. Now that watch in particular is a rugged piece of equipment. It has the military standard 810G classification. It is designed to withstand all that. On the other side of things, the Honor Watch ES is not trying to be a GS Pro. So I'm not gonna be throwing it under a car or off a cliff, but it still has the 5ATM water resistance. So I thought I'd see how this works. Now 5 ATM means that it's designed to withstand up to 50 meters of pressure in water. Without being able to go to a swimming pool, I couldn't properly test this for you like I wanted to, but I was able to drain it in a classic pint of water. Left it in there for about a minute and a half, and then pulled it out to see whether or not there was any initial concern with controlling it. But straight away, you can see that actually manipulation of the touchscreen was perfect. If you saw my video a couple of weeks ago about the 30 miles in 30 day challenge, as of this week, I have passed the marker and I completed it. If you weren't aware of what this is, this was a local incentive by the council where I live to try and get people to do a little bit more exercise. And in my case, because I'm working from home a lot, I haven't had the opportunity to go out and do what I normally used to do. As such, I'm happy to report that right now I am 31 miles in. Woohoo! So I'm hoping that maybe I can set myself a bit of a stretch goal challenge to 40, 45. We'll see how it goes because this is slowing me down slightly Boo. right now. Join me next week where I'll be going through the Watch ES fitness courses. There's something there for everybody going from minor stretches all the way up to much more extreme activity workouts. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and check out some of these other videos dotted around my head. I will see you next week. Thanks a lot. Bye.